There's no point in washing your vehicle in New York. It looks like this after a day. That's after washing it. Check this out. That is super, super froggy fresh. Look at this, it's even got machine in the tag. And they're soft. That is so sick. Then we got the long sleeve too. Oh, that's soft too. I, I gotta put this on. Oh yeah! <laughs> so as you can tell, the Crush shirts came in. I didn't have one, nobody had one. Uh, a lot of them will be sent out. I wanna give a couple shout outs to the people that went ahead and purchased some from machinemerch.com. We got Podium Power Sports, Brett B. I like, how, I like that little plug you put in there. Sheila J, Andrew S, Daniel L, Grant T, Andrew P, Benjamin K. I wanna thank you guys and the people that go to machinemerch.com and support 3D Machines, this channel, so I can make some froggy fresh content for you guys. So as you can see, I have good news, but I also have some more good news and I also have some bad news. The sandblasting is complete and I'm going to get that right now. Unfortunately, the weather is crappy. I had to grab a few things from downtown, including a ball joint press. Here's what my rock rails look like so far. They have all the uh, mill scale off of them. However, there is still a little bit of spatter on them, so I have to get rid of that. Just uh, right along here, you can you can see those little dots. I just need to get rid of those, and then I'm taking them to the powder coater. I've made it to the place that's going to take these silver pieces and make them a different color. I'm going to go with blue, I believe. Here are the four shocks. There's two there, and then there's two back there but I gotta go find my guy first. I've got all the bolts that hang onto the ball joints. Now I have to take the C-clip off of the top of the ball joints. I hope my partner doesn't break on me. Well, at least the teeth. The teeth on these things like to break from time to time. There goes. Yamaha installs the self-ejecting C-clips. All right, let me, let me give you some word of advice. If you're gonna work on something that's really rusty and crusty, now this is a 2016, and even though we're in New York State and we see a lot of salt and stuff, our off-road buggies or machines don't really see them. And so if you're working on something rusty and crusty, this is a castle nut. You see how it kind of looks like a castle head? Now you don't want to put this thing on your threads and start beating on it because you don't want to, you don't want to beat the threads either. So if I just started banging on this, that would be no good either. But you don't want to beat on this because then you're going to have to buy a new castle nut. If you've got something in really, really bad shape, go ahead and go buy a regular nut and then smash it out. trying to get the tie rod off but both ball joints came out. I, the reason why I'm trying to get the tie rod off is because I don't think I have the clearance to get everything out. But maybe I do. I gotta take this brake line off anyways because I'm gonna clean all this control arm off and the brake line runs right down it. Take the tie right off. That saves me time on the other side, I guess. So now that we have a total front end, we'll bust out this tool and test it out. And while I have everything apart again, I want to replace those seals so nothing gets in here like water, mud, debris. I want to keep this diff as good as possible.
Since I don't have my other parts in, such as my seals, because I want to replace those seals in the differential so that I'm not just getting crap in there and causing an expensive differential to deteriorate. Even if these seals are decent, I just want to rock brand new seals. And I'll also buy new spacers for the lower control arms. The upper control arms, as I mentioned before, there was already no play. When I took those spacers out, they looked beautiful. When I took the bushings out, they looked beautiful. Since that other stuff didn't ship yet, I'm hoping that I can go ahead and edit my cart so that they'll send everything at one shot. Because my stuff was supposed to be here like two days ago, but due to the fact that I bought one bolt that was out of stock, I bought like 15 parts, one bolt was out of stock, and due to that, I have to wait. Yes, that is unfortunate. And something else that might be unfortunate is the fact that I ordered even more parts from a different place and those parts, like, this is how I explained it to my girlfriend. I, I have part A, I have part B, and I have part C, and they all go on in that order. Well, sometimes part B comes in before part A, so you can't install part A, and then part D is now somehow before. Life and YouTube are two totally different things. Life, you do it what makes sense. YouTube, you do what makes content, and you do what keeps you up to speed. Now, the parts are, are a tricky thing. We can move around that. I'm, I'm super excited because we're moving in the right direction. We're getting parts, we're getting powder coating. We're working on that free camper. You guys are digging both the free camper crush. You guys are just digging 3D machines, and I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. I'm, I'm glad I can distract you from the world for a little bit and give you some entertainment. We're not gonna have another Gator with the YXZ. We are going to finish crush. The trailer will be dealt with, and we'll get out there, start racing, and meeting a lot of you machines and machine freaks. So this entertaining content, your entertaining content, is only going to get better. Without further ado, I want to give out a few more shout outs to the people that go to machinemerch.com and make this channel possible. Michael F, Kevin R, George C. You guys are really plugging this stuff. Ride, break, fix, repeat, Tanner R, Jason B, Rob S, Trevor D, Tyler T, Larry B, William O, Philip B, Grant A, Ricardo N, Billy G, and Joe T. I want to thank you guys for allowing this channel to run like a well-oiled machine. We are getting more and more efficient. We are like putting the synthetic oil into this machine. Before we were running on like a crappy like 50,000 mile oil. Now we're running on like semi-synthetic. Maybe we can get into the full synthetic in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until next time, stay froggy fresh. 3D Machines out. Mm -hmm.